I have talked about pretty much everything when it comes to Beyblade X at this point. I've gone over the bays, the anime, the new system, and they're not even out yet. So with a lack of Beyblade X news to go over, let's talk about why I love this system so far. This is a bit of a follow-up to the why I hate Beyblade X video I made a little while ago, which was a little bit clickbait. But I went over a lot of the concerns and the worries that I have and you guys had for this new generation. So since I talked about why I hate Beyblade X, let's talk about why I love it. If you guys are as excited for Beyblade X as I am, I definitely recommend you guys check out Mall of Toys. They have a bunch of the Beyblade X stuff up for pre-order right now, like Dran Sword, the Start Dash set, Hell Scythe, pretty much everything you would want. They're also doing a bunch of giveaways throughout the month of June, so make sure to go and check them out. Links in the description down below. First up, it's a new generation starting from scratch. I am a lifelong Beyblade fan at this point. I started making Beyblade videos on this YouTube channel almost 13 years ago when I was just a little 11 year old kid. And I'm still here. And yes, I'm getting old. And while I love Beyblade, and I always will, it doesn't mean that I don't get tired of it sometimes. And that's definitely the way I felt towards the end of Beyblade Burst. It was around the middle of Beyblade Burst sparking where it kind of slowed down to me, and I'm sure you guys could tell as well because I stopped making as many videos about Beyblade in general. Every system of Beyblade Burst after GT I felt was very similar to each other with sparking, dynamite battle, burst ultimate, they all had that same idea of like an outer blade and an inner core, except stuff just got heavier. It got bulkier, heavier, and thicker over time. That doesn't mean I hate the Beyblades though. I think some of the later releases are some of the best designed Beyblades of all time, but because they got heavier, bulkier, and more gimmicky, I just kind of stopped battling with them as much. So this new generation starting from ground zero really reminds me of when I got into Beyblade Burst or when I got into Metal Fight and how I was so excited for everything that could come. It's also a really good time for people to join in on the Beyblade community because everybody is starting from the same spot. And while this is a new system, starting from ground zero, it's still bringing in a ton of aspects from previous generations. A lot of people really love burst. They love that burst mechanic and they're bringing it back. For years, I've been wanting metal contact points to come back because I'm a Metal Fight fanboy and they're bringing that back. These bays are mostly metal again. I know it probably sounds weird, but the sound that these metal bays would make whenever they hit each other, that like tink tink noise, it's just, oh, I can't wait for it to come back. There's also the excitement of the new manga and the new anime. For me as a Beyblade fan, I've always liked the Beyblades themselves more than the anime. And unfortunately for Beyblade Burst, there was a massive chunk of the anime that was really just not that great. I think that after season three or Chozetsu, Turbo, whatever you wanna call it, whenever Takara Tomi made the episode shorter and put it on YouTube, I think that's when the series stopped being good. There was definitely some really exciting moments, some exciting battles, but for the most part, characters and plot and story just kind of was thrown out the window. But just like the bays themselves, the anime is starting from ground zero, and we don't know how long the episodes are going to be yet, but we do know it's actually going to be on television, not on YouTube. And why that matters is we know the episodes are going to be higher quality because of it. The manga is looking to be really good as well. And the fact that it's being developed by people who are really well known, I mean, the artists from The Promised Neverland and the writers of Kakaguri, it's just a really good sign. To me, it shows that Takara Tomi is really investing in this new series. And whenever there's a lot of investment, it means that the quality should be pretty good. So in summary, the reasons why I love Beyblade X and I'm really excited for it is because A, it's a new generation starting from ground zero. It's replacing Beyblade Burst, which was, you know, pretty well developed past its prime. We don't have to worry about what's meta. We don't have to worry about extreme dash, guilty longiness, metal drift. We have something new. The best part of every generation is coming back, including metal contact points, which is what I've been wanting for years. And the anime and manga shows that Takara Tomi is investing a lot of money into this new series, which means higher quality. At least it should, I, I hope so. Hit that like button, hit subscribe to see the best Beyblade X content, and I will see you in the next one. Have fun and bay away.